And the words, they were beautiful, really beautiful. It's physics, that, that's all. It's physics. Uh, 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 biology doesn't exist. It's a lie. You're a probability wave in space. Ride the wave, you hear me? Ride the wave, or you'll end up in darkness. I've been there. It's not nice. It's not love. You want love, don't you? Love! <sighs> Hear me when I say this. I have been to the other side. I have been there, and it is incredible. They have flying elephants. They have men made of chocolate. They have pizzas as big as this city. They have a prize for the person with the biggest heart, not the biggest wallet. You think Nico, I'm crazy? Nico, what's this I hear about you running with Patrick McCreary you. now these days? He's got work and he's a good you guy. You're not planning on taking him down, you are you? Lay off him, for me. I'm not planning on taking yourselves. him down. He's my damn brother, you they idiot. Packy McCreary, Francis McCreary. It's all starting to make sense. I knew Irish families were big, but I didn't expect to run into brothers in a place the size of Liberty City. Yeah, just thank the Lord you ran into Packy and not my other brothers. Packy's just a hood, but Gerald is into some serious shit. And Derek, he's the worst. If that asshole ever comes back from Ireland, I can't be held responsible for what I do. My brothers ain't no good, Nico. Trust me on that. You know what? Me and Packy get along. Maybe if doing what you do is good, then I want to be no good instead. I should meet the other McCreary's. Be careful what you wish for. I think you need to ask doctor for stronger medication. Okay, where to? I want to go to Dillon Street, yeah? Hey, okay, yet problem. Okie dokie, friend. Here we are. Over here! Feel free to browse, buddy, but don't try anything funny. You and me should go for a ride in my chopper, bro. Big pimpin', baby. You in? Not right now, man. Maybe we'll go for a chopper ride some other time. Sure thing, Nico. Hit me up soon, though. Please, please. No. Where you wanna go? I want to go to Savannah Avenue. On our way. Uh, don't play with the windows. Okay, here we are, bucko. Taxi! So the plan was they were gonna hide the diamonds in the queen's ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, Nico. Hey, Kate. Get your fucking hands off my fucking sister, boy. We're talking, not having casual sex, Patrick. I pray after the amount of practice you've had, you'd know the difference. Ooh. Sure, I know the difference. One leaves you feeling sad and empty and alone, and the other's casual sex. <laughs> and I'm quite sure you and Mr. Nico here will have fun on your play date. Hey. Coming, Ma! You boys play nice now. For sure! Kate! Okay! Oh, we're gonna play real nice. <laughs> They're clean as a fucking whistle. One previous owner, yeah. safely driven, ready for action. We got an opportunity, my boy. Yep, fortune favors the brave. Gotta make hay while the sun shines. So is you down, boy? Or is you out? 
Down for what? Down for robbing a thief. Robin Hood. Exactly. Robin fucking Hood. <laughs> Who are you going to rob? The fucking mafia, boy. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Is the money good? What's the risk? Well, the risk is we all die a very slow and painful oh. death. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and the money is good. Very good indeed. So you in, big guy? Or we're gonna have to kill you. Well, since you put it that way, I mean, right, good. all right, right, all right. Let's yeah, go. let's do this. Can you get us a car, man? I'm afraid these two idiots can't drive for shit. Fuck you, Peggy. Yeah, fuck you. Oh. What the f was that? Uh, excuse my French. out to the waste management plant under the Algonquin Bridge on Colony Island, big man. It's really not fun. <gasps> A mafia-controlled waste management plant? You fucking guessed it. It's an Ancelotti operation. Ray tipped us off about a big payoff they just got. A fat cash payoff. Ancelotti's, huh? I can't tell all those Watt families apart. Ancelotti's, Gambinos, Pecorinos. It's the fucking Pegarinos, man. We're working for them. Pecorinos are a type of cheese. Pegarinos is a bunch of Guido gangsters out of Alderney. They're all mafia, though? Of course they are. Cosa Nostra and all that shit. Our family used to be bigger than all them mafia families put together. Back in the day, that is. Not this shit again. I heard this speech a million times. McCreary's ran the city. People were scared to say their name, let alone come near their place in purgatory. Life was great. We were in charge. It's fucking true. I'd like to hear you tell Gerald that it's a boring story. My brother wouldn't take too kindly to that now, would he? You know that purgatory is called what it is because people were so scared of the McCreary's? Did you know that, Nico? It's called that because people found the McCreary story so fucking boring. Listening to them was like being in purgatory. Fuck you, Gordon. I'll fucking come back there and kick your fucking ass in a minute. I hear that Francis McCreary is your brother. Fucking Frankie, my brother. He may have a badge, but I tell you for a fact, he's as crooked as the rest of us McCreary's. More so. At least we ain't fucking hypocrites. Kate's the only decent one. I can believe that. You know Frankie, do you? I got a story for you if you do. Another fucking story. Shut up, Gordon. So, Nico. When Francis and Gerald was growing up, Frankie becomes an altar boy. He swears to this day that he wanted to serve the Lord. Jerry knows the truth, though. He only put on that cassock so he could pocket the change in the collection plate. Fact. That's Francis, down to a fucking T. I don't even know if he realizes what a crook he is. That sounds like the Francis McCreary I met. I bet. Model community leader in my ass. You're just worried he'll start clamping down on you, ain't you, Paggy? I'd like to see him try it. Not gonna happen with the things Jerry knows. Here we are, boys. Moment of... All right, boys. If Ray is correct, then the money's going to be kept in the office in the main building. And there should be a boat docked out back for the getaway. All right, it's up and over the fence. Don't go too fucking far, Nico.
Don't mean I can drive one. Fuck it though. I'll give it a try. That was fucking beautiful. We did ourselves proud. My brother Jerry's gonna be fucking ecstatic. Reviving the Ancelotti's don't figure out it was us, they ripped him off. And don't fucking worry about it. I just figure it was another one of the five families. Us McCreary's are under the fucking radar nowadays. It ain't a problem. I hope you're right. For my sake, but shut up and think about the money. If that don't work, think about my sister. I'll tell you, though, you're only getting your hands on one of those things, you maniac, and it ain't gonna be my Katie. I'll think about the money, then. What a trooper. We did it. Top of the fucking world. Here's your chef. Don't go spending it in any Italian restaurants. I'll see you soon, Becky. Where you wanna so go? Uh, don't play with the window. Nico, man, look, I ain't a pimp or nothing. What are you talking about, man? I'm saying, would you take my sister Katie out for a drink or something? She don't get out much, and she sure as hell don't go on dates. We're starting to worry. She likes you, just as friends. I'm gonna send you a number. I'll give her a call, man, but, uh, I don't think she'll want to see me. Trust me, she will. Call her, man. Uh, it's Nico Bellic. I'm here for an interview. Welcome to Goldberg, Ligner, and Scheister, sir. Mr. Bellick, welcome. I'll just see if Mr. Goldberg is available. Mr. Goldberg, Mr. Bellick has arrived for his interview. Okay, great. Uh, tell him to come through to my office. Would you please follow me, Mr. Bellick? Sure. Mr. Goldberg is such a saint. He teaches kids to swim, you know. He's just so warm and giving. 
All he cares about is making the world a better place. And boy, are you in trouble if you get in his way. I always get nervous before interviews. He's just in here. Don't be nervous. He doesn't fight. Hello, Nico. What's that short for, Nikolai? I'm looking for a man who can get jobs done right. Nikolai, I like your resume. You seem to be the sort of man who would go the extra distance. I just need to take another look. Get myself reacquainted with your experience. So, you're the sort of man who doesn't wait to get told what to do. A guy who looks at the world, sees problems, and tries to fix them? Sure. My problem is that people don't notice the decay in society. They leave the decay alone, and soon it's too late, so you have to pull the whole tooth. Yeah? I am the guy who goes around shaking people. For people, read society, read City Hall. I shake them, and I say floss. Get rid of the rotting flesh stuck in your teeth. Prevent decay. Mouthwash, you hear me? There's this cop. Good cop, but he thinks he's above the law. He's not. You want to know why? Because the law is clear. I'm going to crush him into dust. No one is above my judgment. You understand me? Okay. Here at GLNS, we're pushing things to the limit. We're on the front line, young man. A man I was recently with in this office, in this very room, was murdered. You gotta fight for what is just in this world. You do. Anyway, give me an example of some time where you've worked as part of a team. I work alone. So, are you gonna expand on that, or are you just gonna hang around like a chump? Where are the files for your case against McCreary? Shit, they're on my desk. I never hurt anyone. I wouldn't be here if you'd never hurt anyone. I guess I didn't get the job. It's an ugly world. Where to? To Galveston Avenue.
Here we go. Tip, please. Great, thanks. Stop oh, the camera! Sister. Yo! Here are the files. Great. Peace at last. I feel cleansed. You silenced Goldberg, too, right? I don't need to worry about him? He's done. Whoa, music to my ears. A weight has been lifted. Here's your payment. Sure, Ma, sure. <laughs> yeah, I've always been a good boy. You know me, Ma. Y yes, I'll make commissioner. No, I don't care about Packy. Listen, Ma, I I've got to go. I love you, too. Good to see you. I'm sure. Uh, you know, it's funny, but I see a lot of me in you. You know why? No. You know there's no good. And no evil. Just shades of fucking gray. Whatever. You make things 1% better, that's enough. That's our duty. If you say so. Oh, I do say so. I want to make things a bit better. By any means necessary. And you? What do you want? I want to get paid. Sure. Yeah, sure you do. So listen. I got something I need you to do. This is the last time. Of course. Some drug dealer is holed up in a tower block in East Holland. Now, this scumbag's been pushing drugs, pimping women, you name it, he's done it. I need him dealt with. Isn't that police work? <laughs> sure. <laughs> and the moon is made of cheese and the streets is paved with gold. Wake up! Excuse me? The guy's guilty as sin. He is sin! <laughs> but it'll take me a year to get the evidence. More, maybe. And maybe good men will get taken down by that <laughs> evidence. <laughs> maybe people make mistakes. But this guy is scum. How much? Oh, how much? Good money. Uh, two Gs. Two? You mean five. <laughs> you know, if someone was to tell me you were some fresh off the boat killer with more balls and brains, I'd say he was about right. Uh, okay, you got a deal. Head on up to Vox site and call me. Five G's. It's me. Where you want to go, Hefe? Take me to Uranium Street. Nobody... This is it, my compadre. We're here. I'm outside the project. Where is he? Should be on the second floor. Keeps an eye on all his boys from up there. The guys you see are gonna be working for that scumbag in one way or another. Anyway, these projects all got the same layout. A staircase leading up on either side. Try to get off the ground floor before getting violent. Violent? Me? Yeah, you. Remember, you're doing a real service for the community by getting rid of this scumbag. Francis McCreary is the community now? You're starting to sound like your friend Manny. What 
you doing around here, white boy? Fuck you. Hello? Only thing you'll find up there is a bunch of people who want to kick your ass. Whatever. Man, you got me, chill. I surrender. You wouldn't kill an unarmed man, would you? This isn't my choice. The police want you dead. Yo, it's that rat cop McCreary, ain't it? You don't like a younger brother with ambition. Tell you what, I'll reform. I get out the game, get a, a GED or some shit. Make something of my life. McCreary gonna think I'm dead. Word. Come on, boss. Don't kill me, boss. I'm too young to die. Please. Get him! Watch my back! <laughs> 
place in this fucking city no more. Yeah, right. He tried to convince me to let him go. Said he'd get out of town. I finished him anyway. Good move. You shouldn't trust a word that comes out of that scum's mouth. The streets are a little bit cleaner now he's gone. One percent is all we can hope for. Whatever you say. They don't look much cleaner from where I'm standing. I'm going to have to take this. Where to? We're going to Bismarck Avenue. This is as close as I can get. You! Come on, Come on! Oh, it's a going, man. Don't shoot at me now! Where can I take you? I want to go to Savannah Avenue. Good as gold. I like the way you hey, can I know Hi, Dr. Sig. He's driving me suicide. We're going to make a change of plan. Take me to Iron Street. You're the captain. This is it. Thank you very much. Hey, taxi! Come in. You're late, and please calm down out there. Excuse me? I didn't give you a free pass to act like an asshole. You're bringing a lot of heat. Hang out with bad people, doing bad things, making idiot moves? I'm an idiot. I move. True. But the last thing I need is you getting caught. Why? Because I lead them to you in some plea bargain thing? To me? Who am I? There's a hundred guys in this building alone who fit my description. Middle-aged men, paunchy, glasses. You bring them here? What's this? Empty office? Leased to a man who died in the last days of Vietnam? Ooh. Call me up. Huh. My number never existed. No, I'm not too worried about that. I mean, I think you'll end up on a flight deck, but that's your business. Then what? Because you're good. Because I need you to keep being good. And you're getting distracted. Oh. Oh. Funny. Oh. Yeah, good. I need someone neutralized. Guy is moving a lot of money for terrorists. Whatever. It doesn't really matter. The guy's gotta go. But I need to know his movements first. How? I've got something that's going to help you. Head over to Albany Avenue in Lansing and give me a call. Go. Can I get paid for this? Can I get a medal? Did you get a medal in your last war? Or what did you give Michelle? For me. Michelle? Karen? We gave her a life back. We didn't play too rough. We gave her some money. She still works for us. What about me? We'll discuss that later. So, we need to Where go to, to Union Drive. Yeah. Who's that? Nearly there. You're about to see it.
Okay, then. Let's fly this thing. Thank you. We'll take it from here. I thought I was doing that. I hear you need work. I want to throw your bone, Mickey. Come over to Drusilla's in Little Italy. We'll have a little sit down. So where to? Take me to Denver Avenue. Right here! Oh, table for one? We got a beautiful bacala saddle. I'm here for, for someone. I'm here for Ray. Oh, Ray, why did you say so? Ray's a beautiful man, you know what I mean? Uh, he's in the back. Thanks. Hey, Nikki! Ha <laughs> ha! How you doing, kid? Fine. Ah. <laughs> hey! <laughs> that Mick bastard friend of yours says you're okay. Good. That you're reliable. Yep. But can I trust you? Hmm? Why go through all this? Why stick your neck out? Why do all this work? Because I need the money. And because I can't do anything else. And because I'm good at it. Sure. And because I'm trying to find someone. Okay, maybe we can help. Let's see how we do. So anyways, 
I got this friend. Only the friend ain't my friend no more because he ain't getting me the videos. Okay. Seems this guy does not respect the waste management business. Lives over in a project on Galveston near you. Name is Teddy Benavidez. Do what you gotta do. Somebody gets burnt, so be it. Fine. And you'll pay. Hey, you kidding? I'll pay double. Good. But you mess up, bad things are gonna happen. So where to? To Galveston Avenue. Okay, then. Here we are, then. Oh, thank you. know what apartment Teddy Benavides is in? No sé, I don't know no Teddies. You sure about that? You want the last thing to come out of your mouth to be a lie? Shit, man. He's up on the top floor, apartment 151K. You have to walk the last few floors. Elevator don't go up there, they're fixing it up. Hey, man, who are you? What are you doing here? <laughs> Motherfuckers! Wait, Slow, my mouth. Uh. What's this about, 
pendejo? You owe Ray Bocino a lot of money. You should have paid. Those putos too old. They're finished, fool. The city don't belong to them no more. I wouldn't pay them shit. Ah! Is dead. What are you talking about? Hey, who's he? Sorry to hear about your loss. I'll be in touch, Nikki. Stay calm. No one needs to die. Where can I take you? I want to go to Dylan Street. This is it. Thank you very much. You! We sell quality weapons and we know how to use them. Where to? I want to go to Savannah Avenue. Cool. I'll take the long. Here we go. Tip, please. Go, taxi. Nico Belek. Nico, these are my two brothers. Well, two of my brothers, the two that count. Derek and Gerald. Hi. Derek has just returned to the family fold after a good few years in the old country, involved in the struggle. Sort of like you, I'd imagine. And Jerry, Jerry's the man. And you remember Michael, St. Michael? <laughs> yes, yes, it's uh, nice to meet you. <laughs> Nico's a trip, man. I met him through that Puerto Rican coke dealer. So you want to involve him in family business? What do you know about him? What I know is he likes a fight and he ain't the fucking law. Oh. No offense, mister. That ain't good enough. Well, it's good enough for me. He's a good lad, Jerry. Uh, was I talking to you and Brett Halfwit? <clears throat> I make a point of not talking to the unfortunate victims of brother-sister marriage. Don't you speak about my parents like that. Oh, you're like fucking Cleopatra. Fifteen generations of brother-sisters fucking, and you're so thick you take orders off my idiot brother Packy. Who's so stupid, he had to tattoo his name on his arm. If there is a problem, I'll go. No trouble. I have other ways of making money. There's no problem. Jerry yeah. just likes to think he knows best about everything, which is why he's been married three times already and still won't admit he likes men. <laughs> <laughs> nah, no problem. I'll leave you boys to it. Don't screw up. Packy, take care of Derek. He's been away. And you? Nothing personal, but don't fuck with my family or I will fuck with yours. All right, we're heading to the Southern Algonquin branch of the Bank of Liberty. Nico, you're the designated driver.
Let's do this. Here's how the shit is going down. We're gonna go inside and each take down a security guard. Me and St. Michael here are gonna handle the civilians, while Nico and Derek manage the employees. Anyone tries anything, you put them down hard. Once the situation has been controlled, Derek's going to rig the vault door with explosives. I got enough PE4 here to get through anything they throw at us. PE4? I ain't never heard of that. It's some limey name for C4 that Derek here picked up over there. I ain't having this argument with you, Patrick. Safe to say, what we're using is controllable enough to go through any vault door without incinerating whatever's inside. Not gonna leave much residue on the notes either, so they should be washable. Well, they're going to be washable, all right. Can't wait to see what sort of kick C4 residue is gonna give me when I snort up a line of chop through one of them notes. First, you're a fucking charmer, Patrick. Second, it's PE4, not C4. Whatever, at least I'm honest about my habits, Derek. You know nothing about nothing, Patrick. I'm honest about me demons. Hit the needle on the old head there, did I, Derek? Expression is, hit the nail on the head, Packy. Really, Michael? You don't think I know that? And Jerry was right about you, Mikey. Your parents must have been twins to produce a kid as dumb as you. I'm surprised you ain't got three eyes, no balls, and a club foot. Don't bring my parents into this, Packy. All right, all right. Do we all know what we're doing? Once the vault door blows, I want Nico and Michael to go down into the vault to get the money while me and my brother handle the crowd control. All makes sense to me. If you guys can stop arguing for a few minutes, then I think we might be okay. This is it, boys. Moment of truth. None of you fucking fucks move! Get on the floor! None of you is gonna get a medal for playing hero. All you're gonna get is a bullet to the heart. Don't none of you worry about nothing. We're here for the bank's money. It's going to a greater cause. Shut up and handle the safe! Open the door. Open the door. Open the door! Open the fucking door! Okay, okay, wait a minute. I got it! Get on the floor! Now! But, sir... You too! Okay, okay. Hey, yo, I'm a gun club member. I'm gonna take these rookies downtown. Are you with me? Hey, what's your name, son? Luis, but this ain't such a good idea, bro. Yeah? They said catching that pass in my high school championship football game was a bad idea, because I broke my leg in 13 places, but I scored a touchdown and won the game. The world was built out of bad ideas, my friend. Come on. The PE4 has been molded and is set to explode in 60 seconds. Now listen, people, we're your friends. Me and me brother here. Why are you telling them we're brothers, you idiot? That's gonna make it hard for them to find us, isn't it? I'm trying to be honest with these people. We put them through a lot today. Fuck these people, fuck your cause. That shit's over. Ireland's not the only thing that's green. Dollars are too. Now you've said bloody Ireland. That's gonna narrow the search, ain't it? Fuck you, take the needle out your arm, then tell me what to do. I'll let you tell me what to do when you stop shoving half of Bolivia up your nose every Saturday night. Motherfucker! <laughs> Fuck! We told you not to fuck with us! Shit! Michael! St. fucking Michael! Fucking shit! Get the money! Me and my brother watch the kids! We just want to take the bank's money and get out of here!
I got all the money I could. There's still some in there, though. We ain't got time to go back in. Let's move out, boys. platform.
lucky. It wasn't anybody's fault what happened to him. And the explosive did its job. Now both of you, shut the fuck up! There's gotta be a way out of here, boys. Come on! We got some climbing to do, boys! Hold on to your money! Dispatch air unit from Suffolk. Cops on us, people! Shit, 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 Michael! Damn it! I could have been nice to him for once in my fucking life! Kid only wanted to help! He loved you, Packy. He was happy you spoke to him. Didn't matter what you were saying. Yeah, well, now I gotta explain to his folks that their son is lying dead on the floor of a bank in Algonquin. Well, give them this cut. When your kid is living a life, you gotta expect someone to come through the door and break this sort of news. That does not make it any easier to hear. And we aren't safe yet. Eye on the road, Nico! We don't want you to have to break no bad news to our mom. Neither do I. There's the bacon. Got company. Christ! Thanks, Nico. You're a damn good man. I wasn't just driving you two. The money was in the car as well. Remember that. We won't forget it, Nico. Here's your cut. I tell Jerry you did good. He might give you a call or something.